Hey everybody, Joy here. Let me see what day is it. It's Friday, July 16, 2021. I thought I would invite you all to Joy School. You want to come to Joy School? <laughs> joy School is a new thing I'm starting. Maybe I should call it the School of Joy. Oh, that sounds fun. The School of Joy. <laughs> like my, my self-assured School of Joy. <laughs> I love it. So here's the deal, Neil. I have been trying to make a ruffle. You know, we just had the lounge gown, so long, pajama party challenge thing, and I got all of the prizes mailed out today. They went to the actual post office and they all went out today. So um, I'm starting a ruffle. I wanted to make a ruffle on my lounge gown. I tried making it with my ruffler foot on my regular sewing machine. It would not ruffle knit no matter what I did. It was impossible. Now listen, I realize I can sew two rows of basting thread. I realize that. But why do I own five or six sergers that are supposed to ruffle things? Why do I own why do I own very expensive ruffler feet for my regular sewing machines? If I want to sew two rows of basting stitches and pull them, I hate doing that. I did that when I was young and they didn't have these new inventions yet. And I used to pull and pull and pull and pull and pop and it would break and I would cry and I would be so stressed and I would be so upset. <laughs> That's probably why none of my clothes have ruffles now. <laughs> So here's the deal. School of Joy. We're going to try making a ruffle. I don't know if I can turn this a little bit. Maybe I can. I think I can. We're going to try making a ruffle the way they tell you to make it on your serger. And I know how they tell you to make it because I looked up YouTube videos and I looked at three or four different ones. And I found them all quite confusing and quite incomplete. So I called Be So In, which is where I bought my sergers and they told me to basically do the same thing the people on YouTube told me to do so let's try that this is what I've done this is my school of joy samples I have two pieces of knit they are the exact same length I even wrote it on them 24 inches 24 inches this one's 24 inches, this one's 24 inches. The goal here is to gather this 24 inches into 12 inches. I want two to one. Say the bottom of my lounge gown is 12 inches. I want double that to be my ruffle. Let's see what we get if we do it the way they showed me on YouTube. Okay. Alright, so here's what they tell you to do. They tell you to put it on the longest stitch. And so down here, I'm going to put it on four. Alright, so now hopefully we can just see the machine and we don't need to be looking at me. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it under the foot. And I'm going to bump it up past the knife. I'm going to line it up right here, right here on this edge right there that's what I'm gonna line it up with I don't know if you're supposed to or not supposed to but that's what I'm gonna line it up with I'm going to put this lever over here all the way up because that's what they told me to do this machine came with this paper kind of a cardboardy thing nowhere on this paper does it say anything about making a ruffle now I just think that's ridiculous I mean why wouldn't it tell you how to make a ruffle Oh, send it back. Okay. So I've got, you can choose wave or overlock on this. I have it on overlock. And I have, you can use A, B, C, D. I don't know why, but you can use either A or B to surge with. And I leave it on B for surging, so I'm going to leave it there. So let's run this 24 inches through here and see how big it is when we get done. Okay. Okay. 
Now my machine is moving all over the place, but that's okay. So here we are. Now this did a lot better than my other machine. I did this on my machine in the other room the other day, and I didn't even get this many ruffles out of it. So this is really pretty good, y'all. That's a pretty cute ruffle, huh? Now let's measure this and see how long it is. All right, so I have measured that, and it has come out to be 16 and a half inches. Now, I know I'm not really good with math, but I'm pretty sure that half of 24 is 12, not 16 and a half. Okay? So we got 16 and a half inches doing what they showed me to do on YouTube and what they told me to do at the Be So In store. Now that's not horrible. I could use it. You know, I wouldn't hate that. But I still want it to gather at least double. So here's the deal. I called the store and I said, this isn't working. What do I do? They said, oh, we have this foot. We just happen to have this foot. And it just happens to be $43, of course. These feet are so expensive. It's ridiculous. And it's called, guess what it's called? A ruffling foot. <laughs> now, if your sergers are supposed to be such great rufflers, why would you have to buy a ruffling foot for it? I have no idea. So I bought it. I just got it yesterday. My store will mail things to me, and of course I had to pay shipping and handling. So I've never changed the foot on this. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Step one, change the foot. There's a button back here. I'm going to push it. <gasps> Look at that. It came off. Looky there. Looky there. It came off. So I'm going to put this on. I saw some lady do this on the internet. So I'm going to put this on. Okay, so I saw the lady on YouTube put the fabric all the way under this thing. All the way under it. That's what I saw her do. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find my next piece of 24 inch fabric. I'm leaving my settings the same. So I'm going to put this under here. Lift the foot up. Put this where we put it before. She said go till you reach the needles. I'm going to put that down. Here we go. It's cutting just a tad. So I'm going to line it up right with the edge of this foot is what I'm doing. I'm lining it up with the edge of this. Oh, it's going through. It's going through. Now, I don't know if there's any settings on the foot itself. I don't see that there are. I don't see any deleterection saying, hey, you can change this for less ruffle. So it's one size ruffle fits all, is what this is. Oh my gosh, I am getting excited. I asked a bunch of people, I asked a bunch of lounge gown people, please tell me how you did that ruffle. Oh boy, I don't think this even ruffled as much as the thing without that ruffling foot. Can you believe that? Look at that. So, I called Be So In. There's only one person there that knows what I need the answer to, and that's Jan, and Jan was on the phone. So while I'm waiting for Jan to call me back, I happened upon some strips left from my sewing machine quilt. These were cut for the sashings. So I cut one in half and kept one full length. And I put these both together in the ruffler foot. So I put the long one that was going to be gathered on the bottom, all the way to the bottom, underneath the whole entire foot. And then I put the one that wasn't going to be gathered on the top. And I ran this through. Now, it did a really nice job. But, however, this is cotton. <laughs> See, it looks cute. It's not exactly two to one because this is exactly half the length of the ruffle part. So it's not exactly two to one. But it still looks really nice and I like the width of it. I'm going to go get my gown off of Lucy and I'm going to cut a long ruffle twice as long as my lounge gown hemline while I'm waiting for Jan to call me back. <laughs> so hopefully she'll call me back before I destroy that. Stay with me. Jan is on the phone. She just called. She went to get something with more information. <laughs> we'll see what she says. <laughs> I'll be back. I can tell you what nobody's going to tell you. 
on YouTube. In the School of Joy, you learn something you don't learn anywhere else. Thank you to Jan, who is the manager at Be So In. I told her, I said, I'm going to tell everybody in the whole wide world what you just told me. <laughs> she said, I don't care. I'm going to be a grandmother for the first time. <laughs> so Jan, she is wonderful. She is, she ought to be in the dictionary next to the definition customer service and it should say Jan at Be So In in Oklahoma City. She is so wonderful. So I asked the girls there the same question the other day. They did not know the answer. So I'm going to tell you the difference. The ruffle foot does not ruffle any different than without the ruffle foot. It ruffles exactly the same. So why would anybody want a ruffle foot? The ruffle foot makes it possible to put one layer under and the other layer on top and then one stays flat and one ruffle, 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 ruffle and the top just stays flat. So that's the only difference. So I'm so glad I called her because now <laughs> I can just go get my lounge gown and cut myself a, a ruffle twice as long. Lounge gown is all sewn. Both side seams are in and serge. So I'm going to take out one side seam so I can just sew from one end to the other and then keep going until I'm off. Then I can cut off the extra part that did not ruffle and I can sew that seam back in again. I hope that makes sense. So you want to watch me do it? Give me a minute to get it set up. I have my gown. Here's my gown. Y'all remember this gown, this see-through gown? I had to put interfacing on the inside of it. So, the points of interest would not show. <laughs> so I put one layer completely across and I still showed through. So then I put little circles on there. <laughs> so now when I'm wearing it, you can see these circles on the inside. <laughs> So basically, if I mess this up, it's already a mess, okay? So I measured around the bottom of my gown. I opened it up at one side seam. I measured 50 inches. So I cut a 100 inch ruffle. I had to sew two pieces together. So I figured that when the serger gets to this part right here where I seamed it together it's probably going to eat it and crush it and crunch it all up or something. So you can see I have top stitched it. You have to make sure that when you get done that this is going to be on the inside and not the outside and you have to be sure that the ruffle is going to be <laughs> on the proper side of the gown. And I'm not even sure how to do that. Do some tests. Just take time and do some tests and figure it out because I promise you you don't want to do this twice. It'll be a wonder if it turns out at all. Okay, so if I do it like that, here's the nightgown, here's the ruffle. The seam is on the wrong side. You see that? So let's try again. I'm going to put the ruffle down. I'm going to put the nightgown down. Pin it together. This is how it's going to sew together. So when we open it up, it's going to be perfect on the inside. There you go. So that's how you test it, see? We're going to do right sides together is what we're going to do. Right sides together. So we're going to do the ruffle, right side up. We're going to start way down at the beginning, make sure it's right side up. And we're going to start right here, and this is not going to be easy. We're going to put the ruffle under here. We're going to try to line it up, line it up. The top can only go so far on this foot. The ruffle will start before the top does. I can see that. Okay, so we're going to put the top in here. And then, are you in there? Get in there, get in there, get in there. And pray. We may have to do a mermaid tail on the bottom of this gown. <laughs> yes, they're together. By jigs, they are together. Earth the joy. Can anybody, is anybody out there screaming at me? 
Is anybody saying, oh, that poor, dear, bless her heart. She's got a 71-year-old brain in two weeks. I've got three turquoise threads and one green thread up here. <laughs> ah. Now, this is really, really fortunate for y'all because I'm going to show you why I love baby lock sergers. This is an Enlighten. This does not have the cover stitch in it. I have three of these. They're the only ones I use, unless my Berninas just happen to have a color of thread on them that I need. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy this is to thread. And they have this lovely new invention, this little bucket you can put on it. I think it's a hundred bucks. Well, we have to keep these businesses in business, don't we? All right, now watch. I wouldn't any more do this on the Bernina than fly to the moon. But watch what I'm going to do. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Look at that. I just cut those babies right off of there. So now I'm going to go get the right color of thread, and I'm going to show you how much fun it is. Thread that sort of matches. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's close enough. So we're going to put the thread on here. And there we are, just four threads. Then we're going to open up the serger doors. Then we're going to pull off the thread that's already in it. Pull off the threads that are already in it. Throw those in your trash can. All right, the first thing we're going to thread is this hole right here. I don't even know what hole that is, except it's got a U on it. So I'm assuming it's the upper looper. So that would be this one right here because this gets threaded. And you don't have to do it in a certain order. It's the thing I don't like about the Berninas. You have to do them in a certain order. You can do this in any order. But you've got one thread here, two threads here, and two needle threads. So that's one, two, three, four. You've got four threads, one, two, three, four. So we're going to do this thread here. So you come down through the thread guide. You pull enough out to give it some extra because it's going to suck this thread in the hole. I kid you not, it's going to do it. Watch. See this little lever here that says surging, threading? So let's put it on threading. And then you turn the knob until you hear a click. Ah! And you heard it. So now the vacuum will work. All right. So ah! Don't push the air until you get the thread in the hole. See, that's what you have to do. Enjoy your heads right in the way. There, wait, wait, wait. Did you see it? Did you see it? Look, it's over here. Look. You want to see it again? You want to see it again? This is so much fun. I love this machine. <laughs> this is the lower end, folks. They don't even make this one anymore. I'm sure they make one like it. They change the names of them. You can buy these on um, Etsy and eBay used. Oh, what a great deal. I bought two of mine from the store and one from Etsy or eBay. Ah, there it went. Look, 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 look. <laughs> it's so much fun. When my Bernina thread breaks, I cry. I cry. I pace the floor. I think, oh, what can I do? So I don't have to thread that machine. <laughs> In fact, I had a girlfriend that used to live down the street from here. Her name was Nancy. And she got a Bernina surger. I don't know if she had a Bernina sewing machine, but she had a Bernina surger. And every time the thread broke, guess what she did? She called me. I tried to teach her how to thread it. <gasps> did you see that? Here it is right here. <laughs> did you see that? Let's do it again. Every time her machine came unthreaded or her thread broke, she called me. I tried to teach her how to do it. She wouldn't pay attention to me. She wouldn't even try to learn. She just thought, oh, I'll just call Joy. There you go. There you go. And I didn't want her to call me because I hated to thread just as much as she did. <laughs> All right, so how about the needles are hard? Well, I'll bet you're wrong. So you come up here with the first needle thread or the second needle thread, doesn't matter, just a needle thread. Stick it through the hoosie, pull it through the watchet, and yank it around here. Pull it underneath. I would say do the right one first because you want it to be the farthest one over on your right. Then, then, you roll this little lever right there to the R. 
There's an L and there's an R. Move it to the R, which means right. Hold it down. <laughs> I tell you what, this is so great. And put it in here. And then go like this. And your needle's threaded. There it is. There it absolutely is. It is threaded. If you don't have one of these, I just don't know how you get through your day. <laughs> get under there, you wonder there. Alright, so that's number one. What is that hooked on? That's hooked on something funny. Yeah, don't be sure it's not hooked on anything. It's not supposed to be hooked on, folks. And this just hangs down. Don't worry about it. Somehow the machine finds it. I don't know how. You don't have to change the tension on this. You don't have to turn any knobs. You don't have to do anything except get the thread where it goes. And this goes the exact same way as the other needle. That easy. So now you take this little hoozy and you roll it to the L. L means left. And the left needle is all that's left. And the right thread should be on the right and the left thread should be on the left. And then you put this down. Ta-da! Threaded. Threaded. There we are. Everything's threaded. So now that I have all the threads where they go, I'm going to close the little doors. I'm going to put it back on surging because we're all done threading, obviously. Close the door. I now have the right color thread on there. Aren't you proud of me? And wasn't that easy? Now, I'm going to teach you about A and B. Now, this will be a great lesson you're not going to learn anywhere else because I just learned it myself for the first time from Jan because I asked her on the phone. I said, what is with the A and the B? There's a C and a D, but I know you use those for wave stitch. But why is there an A and a B for surging? I have the answer, my friends. The A is for four threads. The B is for three threads. It changes the tension according to how many threads you have on. Am I so excited to know that? I'm just going to tape that on there so I never forget. <laughs> Ruffle right side up. Where's the right side? right side up on the ruffle and the ruffle goes on the bottom we know that and you put it in all the way to the needle underneath 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 all the way to the needle we're going to thread this through the top right there <laughs> okay let's hit go I hope you could see what I was doing and my body wasn't completely blocking it off now Jan says she kind of does a thing with her hands here, holding these together. She says she holds them like this, two hands, and she does the top through her first two fingers and the bottom through her bottom two fingers like this. This goes between the top two and this goes between the bottom two. So here's where I started and I ended. Here where I opened the side seam. And I only have this much ruffle left. So it's not too terrible. It did pretty good. Whatever the ratio is. So this is the side seam. I will join this up. I will cut off the extra ruffle. And sew that side seam back up. Alright. It looks cute. It looks so cute. It needs to be pressed and there it is. So I sewed the whole thing together one time around and it's knit and it's not exactly two to one but it's plenty tight enough for this lady let me tell you. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'll be back when it's all done. So here we are. Lucy. <laughs> And me. I'm not putting this thing on. 
I'm too tired to take my clothes off and put the PJs on. But I wanted you to see the ruffle. It isn't perfect, but I think, you know, people aren't going to be climbing in my bed and saying, let's check out that ruffle. It, it was kind of wiggly going through that serger. There was one place where it almost missed, but I just sewed it in a little bit deeper there and it seems to look okay. I pressed the seam on the inside up, up this way, so the ruffle will hang down. Now this will probably be to my knees now. Will I wear it to bed? I don't know. Will it go to Goodwill? Maybe. <laughs> Not so much because of the ruffle, but because of this crazy going on at the top. I did take the bust dart out. I put the bust dart in this. I don't know if you remember. It looked absolutely horrid on with the bust dart. Horrid. So I changed the bust dart to gathers right here and just gathered it, stretched the back, and made it fit. So now it has gathers on both sides instead of a bust dart. And I do like that a lot better. So turn around, Lucille. <laughs> what do you think? My very first ruffle. My very first time. A school of joy ruffle. I've never, ever, ever done that before in my whole entire life. And so now, you know as much as I do. And that's quite a bit, considering what I knew yesterday, which was nothing. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions, ask me below. I probably can't answer them, but you can sure ask them. And I'll be back soon doing something. Bye for now.